It's January 19th. I'm up here in Ozark, Alabama, and I did not intend to do a video today. I just wanted to check these bees to see if they needed some fondant. And uh, it's late in the evening after work, and I popped this first colony open here and look at what I found. Look at the strong. Let me check the weight here. They're still really heavy. I don't need to put any fondant on them. So I figured I'd just make a short little video peeking on a few of these uh, real quick, nothing fancy. This is one of Greg's queens from Nature's Image Farm. Haven't been in these bees in a while. I've been so caught up in getting the pollination bees ready. I've really kind of neglected these. First of all, let's check the weight. It's a little bit lighter, but it still does have some weight. Let me see what we got. They're looking pretty good. Now I don't expect there to be a huge cluster in here because these are the Caucasian slash Carniolan bees. Let me just see if we can, out of curiosity, pull a frame or two out here. Oh yeah, we've got honey here. Honey on the next frame over, so they're good. They're in good shape, don't need any food. This colony does not look as packed out as the other one, but they're not supposed to be. We've expected their genetics to be um, brooded down this time of the year, and so I'm totally happy with that. There's another one of Greg's queens. So yeah, they're really, they're really propolized down because I just haven't done much with them at all. Yeah, they're a little more chippy. Got a little bit of weight on them. I'm seeing a few beetles. Uh, once again, not a huge cluster. I do like to see this. Almost looks like some fresh wax going in here and maybe see some fresh honey. So maybe there's a little bit of a flow kicking in. I think there's some maple starting to kick in a little bit around here, red maple. And so I expect the bees to start building up some. Yeah, not a huge cluster, but we got some bees. Yeah, that colony doesn't need any fun then either. Let's just kind of pick up the next one here. Now, this one's pretty light, so I'm gonna probably put some fun in here. Let's make sure they're still alive. Once again, 729 Red Queen, Nature's Image Farm. They got it propolized down. Oh yeah, these had some fun in there before, so we'll clean that out. Once again, a decent little cluster. So what I like to do is kind of cut, well, first of all, in the nukes, I've just been giving them a half of a patty if it's a five frame nuke. So I'm gonna cut this whole thing in half. So I got cut in half and then I cut a square out on the label side over here. You know, they say, I think you can even just cut out the label, but the bees gobble it down so fast. I cut it a little bigger sometimes. So that's what I do here. I'm gonna cut that square. Got it cut out. Gonna take it. Look how calm they are. They're a little feisty, but not bad at all. Just gonna set it on there like this, and the bees will eat it up. Look how they built the propolis right there to reduce the entrance. Isn't that kind of cool? This one right here is not one of Greg's. We might have pulled a split out of here. Let's check the weight. Got a little weight on them. Not a lot of bees in this top box right here. At least this hive tends to get a little bit crazy sometimes. But look at that, wow. Super strong little nuke. They're gonna be fine and I'll probably be splitting them as soon as we get some queen availability. This will make a nice little split. This little colony here is uh, just in a medium box. I nursed them along all year last year. I'm not even sure if they're still alive, but let's take a look. Nice little cluster of bees. That box is a little wonky. The frame rests are too far apart, and so the frames kind of fall down in, but I'm probably gonna give them some fondant. Super light, so they're gonna get some fondant. Nice little cluster though, maybe they'll be okay. Check this next door neighbor here. This is one of Greg's queens, see right there. Looking good, man. Wow. Just a nice, healthy looking little colony of bees. Let me smoke a little bit. They're a little bit feisty. It's almost dark out here. It's getting pretty, pretty late in the day. 
got some. Oh, I actually got a little nectar coming in right there. That's cool. A little nectar right there. Some honey. They're in good shape. I might not have to feed a bunch of fondant up here. I was planning on putting fondant on most of these colonies. Cool deal. This colony right here is one that kind of was really strong and they just got weak. And uh, maybe queen failure, I don't know, but they look okay. Look at that. That's some fondant on there. Yeah, they're pretty light. I'm going to put some more fondant on here. Y'all look at this one. It's one of Greg's queens. Check this out. It's a double stack nuke. It's got good weight to it. I don't think I need to really feed her right now. We must have some kind of a little flow coming in. Maybe we got the maple blooming or something because these bees are actually looking really, really good right now. A little frame of brood in a colony that does not have much weight at all. I think I'm gonna put some fun on here. But right here is the queen. See her with her yellow dot? Beautiful queen, yellow, um, I kinda <laughs> didn't get that one on there very straight last year, but she's doing good, um, looking good. This is a queen from last year, obviously, with that yellow dot. So she's laying it up a little bit, but this is not a super strong colony. Okay, you see how I cut the label out here? Just gonna lay it on top of the cluster here. It's a 10 frame box. I'm just gonna try and put a complete patty in there. I give them something to work on for a while. Here's another one of Grace Queens from Nature's Image Farm. Pretty good, it's getting dark out here. Um, beautiful dark bees though. It's very, very light, so I gotta get them some fondant. There it is. Just gonna slap it on there. I'll enjoy it. Here's another light colony. Went ahead and put a Hive Life fondant patty on here. Look at those bees already starting to kind of try to check it out a little bit. It's almost dark. This is certainly some raw footage out here in Ozark. The 26 colonies, really excited about them. They're looking good. We did have one dead out. Put Hive Life fondant on some of them. Most of them, frankly, didn't need it. Man, I'm looking forward to spring. It's going to be awesome if we can just get them through the next month or two. If you're interested in trying the Hive Alive products, you can go to the link in the description below. Put in the code BRUCE10 for a discount. Y'all take care, be safe, and we will catch you on the next one.